I don't know if she's faking it or what, but she's not answering. Even tonight, the death of a woman in police custody caught on video. 60 year old Lisa Edwards died after an autopsy shows she suffered a stroke about 15 minutes after officers put her in the back seat of a patrol car. A warning tonight, parts of this video may be too graphic for younger viewers. Prosecutors did clear all of the officers involved for their actions, but tonight reporter Caitlin Keenahan spoke to the family of the woman who died in police custody and they still have questions. Police got a call for trespassing at Fort Sanders Regional Medical Center. They want you to leave their property, ma'am. I can't walk. Oh, why can't you walk? Family members say Lisa Edwards has not walked since 2019. She was not able to open and close her hand, walk, none of that. The hospital discharged the 60-year-old, but she wouldn't leave. I don't want to go to jail. Don Bosch, an attorney representing two of the officers in this case, says people not cooperating is common. It's difficult, very stressful, and you have to adapt to every single situation. KPD tried to arrest Edwards for criminal trespassing. Oh no! I need you to step up. Okay? I can. You have to. I'm pulling me back. That's when the commentary took a turn. I can't pick her up because she's dead weight. She's not yeah. using her damn no. legs. I'm tired of this dead weight crap because this is all an act. Edward's son and daughter in law watched the video. She shouldn't be treated like that. Nobody should be treated like that. Um, they wouldn't treat their mom like that. So why would you treat my mom? But Bosch says it's complicated. I can see honestly how. There may be folks that, that could be troubled by it, uh, but they believed that they had a medically stable individual. Eventually, officers got her into a cruiser. <laughs> then the breathing stopped. <sighs> when the officer checked the back 15 minutes later, he found Edwards unconscious. I don't know if she's faking it or what, but she's not answering. EMTs took Edwards back to the hospital where she was declared dead in Knoxville. Caitlin Kinahan. Again, the family of the woman who died want to see a change in police policies and they're considering a lawsuit in this case. As of tonight, the four officers involved remain on paid administrative leave and internal affairs is also looking into that case.